many clients have a need or express the need to easily enhance or extend the prompting capabilities within Cognos BI. Starting with uh, 10.2, a fully supported prompt API is available. This JavaScript API will continue to be enhanced in future releases, but the initial version will permit a standardized method for setting, reading, or deleting prompt values. Possible uses of this would include validating prompt values such as pattern matching without having to submit the report just to have it fail or return unwanted results. A library of prompt API samples and related code techniques will be provided with the standard Cognos samples, and the API sample library will likely be expanded in future releases. As with all previous versions of IBM Cognos BI, JavaScript can be embedded in the reports, but will now be able to interact with the set of standard API classes, which will be fully compatible with future releases, minimizing related product upgrade issues and concerns. Just to clarify a bit where the prompt API is supported, it's used within Report Studio for authoring, and Cognos Viewer as well as Cognos Workspace and Workspace Advanced for consumption. The API will not be supported in Query Studio, Analysis Studio, or Cognos Insight. The API will also not work with reports deployed by a Cognos Mobile or within Active Reports. A repeater table, which is driven by data or a query, has always been available in Report Studio. The new static repeater object for active reports will actually make the process of creating tabbed or icon-based action buttons and navigation far easier with its integrated actions and controls. Excel 2010 is still not a native output format in 10.2, but the Excel 2007 capabilities have been expanded. There is now a large output option that can be configured, which is a global server setting for all users. This large setting will permit exporting data up to 16,000 columns and over a million rows. This is done by setting advanced properties for the report service and batch report services, respectively. The Excel 2007 data option, which is now available as a run option within Report Studio, will permit quick data-only exports to a native 2007.xlsx format, which are free of any report formatting. You can also now cut and paste data directly from a list report in the Cognos Report Viewer and paste only data into Excel. As Jesse mentioned earlier, IBM's received lots of feedback, maybe some not so positive earlier this year when the new Cognos Insight product was introduced. There was some confusion between Business Insight, Business Insight Advanced, and the new Cognos Insight both in terms of licensing and product identification in general. So starting with version 10.2 in Cognos BI, Business Insight, Business Insight Advanced have been rebranded as Cognos Workspace and Cognos Workspace Advanced. So within the Cognos BI stack, the term Insight will now refer exclusively to the Cognos Insight product, which we'll review a little later in the presentation. New features included with Cognos Workspace, a multi-tab functionality, which to better organize workspace content, as well as facilitate more functional dashboards. Global filtering, which will permit filters to be applied across all tabs within a workspace. Action buttons to aid in workspace navigation. Freeze and unfreeze row and column headers similar to Excel type functionality to improve readability when scrolling. Expand and collapse, which is a new way to drill and explore. A visual chart recommender, which is a new 
tool that will look at the data being presented and make some recommendations on which chart types might work best. Chart interaction has been improved to allow filtering, sorting, and drilling. There are now graduated capabilities available to be configured for the Cognos workspace. So we now have the ability to set different levels of interaction for the end user. Google Chrome and Apple Safari are now supported browser platforms for the Cognos workspace. There is also a new high fidelity publish feature from Cognos Insight 2. And what that means is that an application developed within the Cognos Insight desktop product, including multiple tabs and filters, can be published directly to Cognos 10.2 BI as a functional Cognos workspace. And last, uh, the printing capabilities have also been improved. What you see here is an example of a new multi-tab workspace and the new global filters area. The tabs are located along the bottom of the workspace, and the global filter area will be in a collapsible pane on the left-hand side of the workspace. Filters can be added from the Cognos Workspace Toolbox, the same as in previous releases, and will function for common content across all tabs. For those who previously deployed widgets developing, developed using Report Studio, you will no longer need to include a separate Business Insight query to define the common filter objects between those widgets. You'll just need to ensure the same columns or data items are included by name and all source queries that you want Cognos Workspace filters to work with. Action buttons were added in order to be consistent with controls available within the Cognos Insight desktop product. These are designed to provide easier navigation within a multi-tab workspace or a dashboard. Other new features available by right-clicking on a corresponding row or column header, the freeze and unfreeze improves the readability of lists and cross tabs where scrolling is required to view all of the content. The expand collapse feature permits a targeted drill down on just the selected items. For example, in this view, we right-clicked on the camping equipment product line using the expand option. Notice the camping equipment product line is expanded to see the next level of information, in this case, product types, but yet the cross tab still retains the other product lines and the overall totals. This will improve the data exploration capabilities within Cognos Workspace, and it's consistent with the options available in Analysis Studio. The visual chart recommender will display the most recommended chart types based on the type of data being analyzed. This is available on the chart drop-down menu under the more option. Note that there are, these are just recommendations. Any available chart type can still be selected. It's a tool designed to help casual users select an appropriate chart type for the data they're trying to present. The ability to interact with charts in Cognos Workspace 10.2 has been substantially improved. It is now possible to filter, sort, drill up, and drill down directly on the chart objects. Again, just another feature designed to improve the usability and data exploration capabilities. One of the features that many clients were dying for in prior versions of Cognos Workspace was the ability to lock down or restrict the capabilities for certain user groups. Now with version 10.2, there are three distinct levels of capability that can be controlled by the administrator. In an author role, where users are assigned to the Use Advanced Dashboard Features capability will have full authority to create, edit, modify contents of a workspace. 
There's a role for simple interaction where users who are assigned to the Use Interactive Dashboard Features capability labeled to have basic interaction, change chart types, appearance, etc. And for anyone not assigned to one of the above roles, they can simply open and use the workspace as presented. They will obviously have the ability to use any filters, navigation buttons, and to drill up and drill down, but will not be able to change or modify any of the content. Based on clients we've talked with, we think the graduated capabilities, in addition to the new features, will greatly increase the adoption of Cognos Workspace for BI consumption, which IBM originally intended when the feature was first introduced. Cognos Workspace Advanced, again formerly known as Business Insight Advanced, also has a few new features. A reporting option to automatically create cross-tab headers. Also a, an option to automatically group and summarize lists. Table styles are now retained on Drill Up and Drill Down. And data can be copied directly into an Excel application, such as Excel, Notepad, Word, etc. The only option, the option to automatically create cross-tab headers is only for dimensional data sources such as cubes or DMR packages. And this was primarily introduced to be consistent with the presentation options available in Cognos Insight. These settings are available on the Report tab under Tools and Options. Also available on the Report tab under Tools Options is the ability to automatically group and summarize lists. Again, a nice feature for casual users of reporting tools that will help the usability of list-based reports and widgets. This is just a screenshot to illustrate that cross-tab styles are now retained when drilling up and drilling down. In this case, drilling on the year 2012 shows individual quarters for 2012, but maintains the color and style of the original cross-tab. This would also include any conditional formatting of the cell values. And this is just a screenshot to illustrate the data only cut and paste feature from Cognos Workspace Advanced into Excel. Under the edit menu, you select copy data and then simply paste it into your Excel worksheet. 